Hi and everybody and today we are going to do the horns for the character and let's take a look at the horn itself so her horns uh, seems to have a little bit of lava coming out of the veins and then it's sort of a rock and antler like texture to it so this should be a very typical kind of horns that you see in MMO bosses, MMO RPG. So uh, let's give it a try to emulate it. Or maybe we can even redesign it a little bit. The horn is uh, might be too uh, dense in terms of detail for this character. Uh, same thing. I first step. I always try to uh, get the form, get the rough look of the forms before I do any detailing and since we don't have uh, any detail draft, drafted uh, on the horn uh, we can freestyle a little bit and definitely uh, we have met a problem right here is uh, we have to figure out how the horn is going into the hair without look, making this part look too ugly right because uh, at the end of the day if this is a realistic uh, part of her she might have a little bit of bald in uh, on this area so what we can do is uh we make the hair thicker so that it goes around the horn or cover the ugly part of the horn okay, after we have like the rough silhouette that i want uh, i'm going to add some colors in so there's a bit of warm tone on the overall horn other than that uh, it's just a uh, crevices around the horn so what we can do is also go pick up a warm tone perhaps a little bit of yellow and just glaze into the horn in general put the color in and then just uh incorporate the the colors into the pieces and now uh, let's uh go ahead and draw the texture on the horn uh, at this stage right uh while adding the texture you must also be aware of the value that you are picking because the texture around this part should be lighter than this part because there's light here and there's dark here so i will pick a darker shade for texture around here but i will pick a lighter shade for texture on the lighter side and it seems like there's a part where it has hot spot of red leaking out of the crevices so it sort of looked like a little bit of molten rock to it so i'm trying to also be aware of uh, how much space like this kind of space uh, uh, i am giving because uh, this kind of design uh, normally uh, has uh, since it's so organic uh, we can always design it with some proportion in mind to keep it look uh, consistent and uh, organized even though the organic design might be too confusing for people so we, we we still gonna keep some proportion in mind keep this distance and this distance equal so yeah things th things that you can definitely like try to uh, add in an organic organic design like that you can always uh, beautify an organic object by giving it some rules to follow and then we can probably have the this part of the horn uh, the vein, veiny part of the horn uh, pushing sort of like connected to the hotspot of the uh, yeah the hotspot of the lava area Uh, there's a lot of garbage right on uh, from my skin uh, because I have uh, used the selection method to cut out all the uh, all the skin uh, to delete the skin uh, extra skin mask and in Photoshop the problem is with that is that you will leave one pixel of uh, if one pixel of mat, a uh, one pixel of useless uh, uh, pixel uh, in the mask itself. So be sure to go back and check uh, if you have this kind of problems when you are uh, deleting things with lasso tool or yeah, or using existing 
uh, <clears throat> met to yeah using existing mask to delete some part of your thing. So yeah, that's a bummer uh, that we have to fix it ourselves. And we can definitely uh, darken the horns a little bit, especially the top part, because uh, I think it will make the entire piece look better. And yeah, we have no choice but to draw the other horn uh, because it's on another different perspective, so we cannot just simply duplicate and put it in what we could if, uh, do is to uh, we, what we could do is duplicate and click mask and then try to find the best position to use it uh, and then paint over everything yeah but other than that uh, yeah you, this is you still have to manually paint everything since uh, this kind of organic uh, thing, uh, most of it has no precision in the amount of detail it has. So uh, you can definitely make use of its texture and yeah, draw over it a little bit. Uh, of course, I want to try to make this look a little bit different from the other side. And this horn, uh, uh, the horn from the other side should be facing the other side so you probably will not see any v-shape because it's the v-shape is pointing to the other side so uh so form is uh definitely very important even in an organic object like that you know what maybe for this uh, particular design we can have a horn glow glow so it makes more sense uh and it also look cooler and as for the horn, I think we are done. Thank you so much for the next things. Uh, for the next uh, part that we will be working on would be the detailing of the clothes. And I will see you guys on the next uh, tutorial. Bye bye.